Hey guys, it's Lucy. And this is Al Corinth. And we're bringing you sweet, sweet dual commentary. Yeah, yeah. And oh my god, oh my god. And all credit goes to Al Corinth for this. He came up with the most brilliant idea, I think, ever. Okay, so you guys watched, the, I, I assume that you've watched the first Moza Tame attempt. If you haven't, please watch it. It was actually a second attempt. We never even posted the first one. And this is actually a third attempt. Uh, we just kept losing the Moseys. They'd run away, and it's so dark under the water. And um, so I came up with this idea to build a wa undersea water cage at one of the deep. I think it's the deepest point on the center map. Mm -hmm. Also, we're running Primitive Plus. Yeah, so, which is the center is now a part of actual arc. Yes. So this this was filmed before that. But what's really neat about this is that uh, you don't have scuba gear, you don't have fins, you don't have goggles, mm -hmm. and you got you know you got. Trank arrows, crossbows, narcotic, mm -hmm. and uh, chowder, and that's it. And stone. And stone. Yeah, so what yeah. are the dimensions on this? So if users out there want to build what, what they're seeing right now. We've got 10 by 7 by 10, which is 10 length, mm -hmm. 7 width, yeah. and 10 high, and then we have a dino gate. It's actually a, behemoth, a behemoth. stone behemoth gate on one side. I apologize. And a yes. 2 by 2 opening on the other side. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, is that you can fit a mosey through one side and, uh, well, you lure it with a, with a dolphin, right, mm -hmm. through one side, and you can slip out the other side, and the mosey stays aggroed on the dolphin on the, on the other side while you have a buddy, in this case Lucy, mm -hmm. uh, swims down and slams the door shut and keeps it caged. If you were solo tamer, you might be able to leave your dino over there on passive far enough away that the dino is still interested in it, and you could try to swim over. You can try. Um, just be careful. Um, you this, have to be this fast. Cage, this cage is huge, but... Mm -hmm. When it can comparison to a Moza, like 30, 40 percent of its body can come out uh, after you have it caged, mm -hmm. and I think it can bite you through the stone window frame. So it was uh, all stone foundation on the bottom, mm -hmm. and it was and all we stone window frames around the sides and stone mm -hmm. ceilings along the top. Okay, let's watch this, guys, because he is going to attempt to get this Mosey in here. So this dolphin is has 680 move speed, just to give you an idea of how fast it is. And over 2k stamina. It was only level 4 and I leveled it up 200 times. So it's level capped, but it's super fast. Absolutely. Also, navigation skills, very important. Everything looks exactly the same down here. <laughs> you can't see anything at all. Yeah, I don't so even can, know how he can do this. You can to be easily honest. lose track of where this building is because there's just a whole lot of nothing down there. Okay, so he's luring me in. We both have Lazarus Chowder, and I'm on the other side, and I'm so nervous. And I'm making sure I close it. He kept its attention. Perfect. Yep. We have it caged in. It's caged in. It's let's, so awesome. Let's see if it stays caged level in. Level 8 mosey. Nice. Yep. Nice. I was hoping for higher level, but we can use this cage for all level moseys. Mm -hmm. So it just takes a little bit more tranks. If it works. Part. If it works. All right. So I'm getting some headshots in here. Get some headshots. Yes. And what's Lucy doing? Is she shooting or is she just watching? Or did she go back you into the You told surface? me you wanted to do the solo. Okay. And so I just hung out next to the dolphin. Oh! No! So I freaked out right here. And uh, it felt like the mosey slipped through, you know? And I was like, I was not prepared for that because I don't think I can swim faster than it. Its tail comes 40, 30% out of that thing. And I think if it slaps you once or twice on on a four times uh, wild, damo, wild dino damage server, you would probably break all, all my armor and probably kill me. He scared me so bad. Like, look at that. Look at that. It looks like it was coming out. I swam so fast up. I didn't even look to see if he was safe. I just swam. Also, when I was building this cage, uh, I lost a dolphin. I was in the middle of putting the stones down. And it's so dark that they sneak up on you and just attack you. So after that point, I would just swim down and look around and look for dark shapes in the distance to see if there was any nearby Moseys. Yeah, with the center update, though, that little trick is gone. Well, that's not that's not the trick. Uh, I just literally swam to the bottom and looked around for oh, dark well, shapes. Oh well, well, sorry. Then the other trick where you're at the top and you space bar you and hold, you look. Yeah, you hold space bar and you can look down and see all the way to the bottom of the ocean. That no, no longer works, and it wasn't even 100% reliable. Exactly, because there's rocks and stuff, and you could only see once in a while. It was mainly what was directly behind you or underneath you. So this thing, I mean, it can't run, and so this is. Literally the perfect, perfect idea. Yeah, so what was always happening is they would end up running and either luring me deeper into more Moses or Plesios or whatever, or and they moved faster than I could. So I kept losing them. 
Oh, see there, he's trying to run. Oh, and he yep. can't. He can't run, so then you just try to aim for the little window slits. And this is primitive plus. If you're playing on, you know, non-primitive, you could do a metal cage. Yeah. But also on non-primitive, you have fins and you have scuba gear, so you probably can keep up with them. And oh, got it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's down. It's protected. So this is probably the easiest tame. It's just a lot of work to get that building built. Yeah. And once it's down, you're golden. Absolutely. I mean, it is perfect. And then you ended up later this night you ended up taming two pleasies in there. Yeah, so I was trying to lure one pleasy and I couldn't get them to separate for whatever reason. They were like right next to each other. So what I did is I zipped in circles around them and it kind of took them and it like stacked them together into one pleasy almost. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to lure both pleasies into the same gate, uh, same trap and tame them both individually. Like, you know, knock one out then knock the other out. But we also had two shooters at that point, so that really helped. This was amazing. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm so impressed. I had no idea if this would work. I mean, I, I was really hoping it would. And I, when I first built the cage, it wasn't big enough. I did a three, a three, uh, yeah, three wide by ten five. by ten. No, it was so like four. Five, four? Yeah, because it okay. wasn't the whole gate. So basically, a mosey could get its head in, and a pleasy could get like its head and in, in some of its body. Yeah, because I tried could, with the pleasy. But first. I couldn't get a full dino in there, so I had to scrap it, rebuild it. Also, the way we got materials down here is we built everything in advance, stacked it on a Ketz, swam over the drop point, and I could only carry about 40, 50 pieces at a time, and I would just swim down on a really fast dolphin. I know it doesn't seem like it's that deep in the water because the dolphin has 680 move speed with 2,000 stamina, but I'm going to show you later in this video how, like, if you swim up without a dolphin, how deep you really are. Yeah, it's pretty deep. And then just navigating. So we picked a really, like direct point so make sure you pick something that's really easy to find on the map like none of the center parts do one where the line lines up perfect well then, the, the, the bottom of the ocean is very flat for the most part so yeah. at least from my experience before mm -hmm. the map change i'm assuming i haven't been down to the bottom of the ocean since but i'm assuming it's still flat and a cat's up top we realize because you can see it it's really nice to have the dolphin right there and then have the cats right above it it gives you a good uh Drop point, basically. Def definitely. And you then the use mosquito boat. hawks. You don't have to use a cat. So you can use a boat, mm -hmm. um, a raft. You can use a oh, lot of yeah, different things. You can use a plesio things. if you want. It really doesn't matter. But at least the cats itself is out of the water. And I put plant turrets on the back of it just to protect it while it was passive in the air. And now check this out. We do know it's a level 8. But these things tame seriously so tame like Now, ridiculous. keep in mind, our server is times 15 tame, mm -hmm. times 10 gather, times 10, 15 experience, yes, and times 4 wild dino damage. So and a lot that's of, fun. And that's a lot. <gasps> oh, we got it's it! Tamed. Woo! <laughs> so I think the last part here is we're going to show you, I'm going to swim up, and you can see when I pull this mosey, how long it actually takes to get to the surface. Yeah. Um, definitely when I was building this, I probably popped eight or 10 chowders, just okay. going back and forth while I built it. And then I was the person that went back and forth with the resources yep. because the cats can only carry so much. Yep. We pre-crafted everything because that reduces the weight. That's really important. You can bring the mats out, but look at, look this. at this. I'm still I love I'm this swimming video. up and I've got the tame mosey. You can see how long it takes to get to the surface. Uh, and we're almost there. Uh, uh, once upon a I'm time. Ca I'm caveated out so you can't see me in my stat bars, but and we made it to the top. Yay! And look at this beauty. Yep. It's red, which I couldn't even tell at the bottom of the ocean. No, it just looked like a black blob. <laughs> so thank you so so much. Uh, just keep me please or please like, subscribe. Yes. Um, if you want to see more of this type of video, later on we're gonna have what? Well, I don't know, you'll have know. to stay tuned. Peace. Peace out.